Kylie Vitucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with our premiere. This isn't live, but hello to all of you that are here today. Uh, we usually try and catch up with all of your live comments, so you should see virtual Kylie or Bruno here joining you. Uh, we've jumped on today because we have something very exciting to share with you. And no, don't accuse us of hoarding. <laughs> we are not hoarders, we are sharers. <laughs> we are sharers in sunshine. Yay! Oh, it's almost going. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I caught them all. <laughs> so we are sharing this amazing new paper pumpkin. Yes, they're all about to fall over still. And we are so excited that they have all arrived. I made a list of friends who I wanted to send this amazing kit to because it is so happy and fun and the best thing I could send to friends right now, especially because so many of our friends are going through a really difficult time with lockdown, particularly here in Victoria. We have friends uh, that are really struggling and finding it a little bit challenging because we've still got about four weeks left of our curfew and our lockdown here in Victoria. So we thought what better than to send them some fun. They can do some crafting. And we thought it's a great way to introduce uh, card making to them. Not only will they have a lot of fun creating this card kit and we shall look at the designs today together, but they can also share the love with other friends. They can keep some of the cards for themselves, but they can also pass on the love to more friends and family. So this could be the gift that keeps giving, correct? Now in Australia, we don't normally get this paper pumpkin kit. Uh, usually it's just the North American peeps that get to enjoy this, but we get to have some fun with this kit. And it is a limited time exclusive item. So please do not delay. If you want to get this kit, then please have a look at the details either below or above, depending on whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, and you can get this kit on our online store. I'm pretty sure it's about $37 and it makes eight cards and you get to keep the stamp set and the ink as well. So let's open it up and have a look and show you what's inside. I'll just move these over here so that they don't fall over in the middle of our video. <laughs> it's like kits everywhere. Yay! <laughs> I love having all of these arrive. I was so excited when they turned up. So let's have a quick look here. I'll just bring this video down here and just shine that a little bit away so that it's not as shiny. Oh, there's shine everywhere. So let's open this up. Maybe once we take off the plastic it won't shine as much so and this is how it comes and you will have the exact same thing when it arrives for you or when you send it to a friend this is what they're going to see when they open it up I just think it's the most beautiful gift you could give to a friend oh look at this so they get the box of sunshine and it says this beautiful paper pumpkin kit is here to help you share sunshine once you've made all the cards, use any leftover pieces to decorate the box. You can fill it with yellow goodies and then share it onto a friend. So if they want to, uh, you could actually even get the, if there's a paper pumpkin boxes that we sell through Stamping Up and you can actually create your own box full of goodies, maybe yellow treats or something like that. Um, but it's a lot of fun and the sentiments here are just so sweet. So you can see that it's got sunshine, you are loved, sending sunshine, so that's the sending there, smile, um, a little something to brighten your day. And then it's got the sun and then some patterns here as well. And a hello. So it's a perfect, perfect set. And of course, nothing is better than having some black ink, which will come in handy afterwards. If they decide to use this again, then they're always going to have this ink available to them. Then we've got this beautiful tissue paper, which they could reuse to pack some little gifts inside and then put it in with a card as well, a handmade card. So there's a lot of possibilities for creativity, for gift giving. Um, we've been doing a few different things for our gift giving. And actually there's 
uh, one of the frames that we've been making, we've had like little scriptures that we put in with the with a frame and they're just beautiful. They're so, so pretty. We've been sending them to friends and family um, and sending a card with it. And so I'm really looking forward to using some of these cards to send with uh, our frames that we've been doing as a little gift. And it's so much fun with the frames. Like if you live in Australia, we just order them online through Kmart. Uh, you can make your own designs if you wanted to. In fact, I wonder if we have... Brenna, do we have a spare frame at all? Don't know if we have a spare one, but that would be fun to use one of these as a frame. I would like to see that. I think it would look really cute. I might steal one off the wall. <laughs> I've got a couple of frames here. <laughs> So really cool things here. So you can see that the even the envelopes are so pretty. They're decorated, all ready to go as well. And then we have these fantastic die cuts. So you can pop them out really nice and easily. They're already colored for us. We have dimensionals. We have some sequins and plenty of die cuts. And then there's some more die cuts here. We're going to use them as little background um, images. I think these are actually stickers, are they? Yes, they're sticky. So that's really handy, but they've already got adhesive on them. And these are the card bases. Some more stickies here. Well, they're actually stickers as well. Awesome. Some die cuts for our sentiments. And then some more card bases. So a lot is in this kit. And you can see here that there's a lot of fun to be had. You've even got some adhesive dots as well. So you, you pretty much have everything you need other than a block. So if you don't have any of our blocks, one of these sized blocks would be sufficient. And if you don't have that or you don't know what to use, um, maybe you have like an ink pad. We've used that before. Um, you might have something around that, like a mobile phone that you can use. You can stick it to that and stand. Like, it's amazing what you can find that you'll be able to stick it to if, if you don't have a clear mount block. Um, so don't feel like, oh, I don't have a block, then I can't make this. No, there's a lot of alternatives that you can use. Now, do we have some destructions? And by destructions, I meant instructions. Yes, we do. And we've got some beautiful ideas here as well. So they've got the images that we could copy, which makes it a lot easier. Um, you can even decorate the box as well. Oh, so that covers the label on the box, which is a really cool idea. I'll show you how to do that. And then we've got all of these cards. So that's fantastic. Now, the inside isn't colour, but it's going to give us the exact idea of what we need to do for each card um, but you can just follow the images even on here as well I think even looking at this I can definitely get a great idea of what I need to do and what I need to add where I need to add it so let's do that let's start with our first one I really love these lemons I just think these are super super cool so I'm just going to fold that and if you do have a bone folder great if you don't no problem but the bone folder just helps you to have a nice crisp edge, but it's not vital. Your card is still going to work out even without the bone folder. Now we've got one of these ones here, so I'm just going to stick that right down. You could get all fussy and freaked out, but don't freak out. Just stick it down and it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the prototype but you're going to see how quickly and easily you can put these together and you can come up with your own ideas I know a lot of people out there come up with with alternatives to their paper pumpkin kits which is really cool so there's lots of ideas out there if you googled share sunshine paper pumpkin I'm sure you will see a lot of different ideas so we're going to stick those down and we've even got some of the, oh, I wonder what they've done with the, it looks like some of them are 
Oh, I see. They've got like a greeny orange tinge to them. But I think they're the ones we're going to use for that. Let's make sure I've got the right ones because they look almost green, those sequins. Yep, that looks right. Oh yeah, that's the contents. Printed dots, die cut with foil, mini ad dimensionals, mini adhesive backed sequins. Yeah, it looks like it's all fine. Anyway, we'll have a little look here and just in case there's something I missed but it just looks like it must be the angle of this, of the photo that's made it look like they're green sequins. But I'm pretty sure they're these. Because strangely enough, depending on what way you move them, they do have a different look to them. Now, I really like the sentiment that they've used there, which is the a little something to brighten your day. And actually that block, with that, oh yeah, you can still use that block. You just have to go diagonal to fit it on there. I'll just use my normal black ink and I'll save the glue dot for something else. Maybe I can send it as a gift to someone else. See, the gift that keeps giving. Now, when it's a new stamp set, it's always good to just stamp it onto some scrap paper. I've got some here. That I've used before so just stamp it on some scrap paper and even if you just sort of smush it a bit and what that does is it just helps it to take off some of the extra oils and things like that that might be some residue that might be sitting on there that can sometimes affect the crispness of our image and we're going to stamp it on oops don't get it in the black ink we're going to stamp it on this one here so what's great about the clear or the photopolymer stamps is that you can actually see right through the stamp, which is super handy when you're stamping because you can see where you're stamping. Still doesn't mean I'll be I'll be not crooked. <laughs> doesn't mean I'll be straight, but <laughs> it will help me to hopefully be a bit straighter. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> I'm always slightly off. <laughs> So that's that one and then we just stick that all down look how quick and easily that came together so we're just going to layer these this one I'm going to stick down directly so you can use your little adhesive stickers to do that or if you have um, some Tombow glue I use Tombow glue usually I really like my Tombow glue particularly for something this size. But look, these, these aren't bad. You can use your scissors or if you have a take your pick tool, that can help to get things off as well. I'll use a good amount on here. There we go. And when you jump on, if you haven't been here before, let me know. We love new subscribers to our channel. And we've always got a new video each week we post a new video and once a month we do a live video that usually goes for a bit longer than our pre-recorded videos um, but definitely subscribe because it's the same time every week whether it's a premiere or whether it's live and you'll get used to what time it is in your country but it's 10 a.m uh, australian eastern time if you don't know what our time zone is, you can look it up and just see what it is in relation to your time zone. There we go. Look how cute that is. Now, I'm just gonna stick this down using Tombow because, you know, it'll be quicker. <laughs> and I'm one of those types of people that loves to get crafting done in a flash. I love seeing things get done in a, um, good amount of time. Ah, oh, so cute. And you don't have to stick down the, the leaves because it's already stuck to the lemon. And I kind of like having a bit of a 3D effect there. This one will raise up and we'll put some leaves behind. 
looks like it's got two leaves on this one, but I just like the one. I'll save the leaves for something else. So stick that. And then I'll use my dimensionals to raise this up. I love that they've come with these dimensionals. It's really cool. Thanks, Stampin' Up. They sure know how to look after us. I tell you what, they keep coming up with amazing new things. Please remember that if you know that you want the new Stampin' Up um, embossing machine, cut and emboss machine, that you can join our team. We've had a couple of new ones join our team just so that they can get the new machine at a discount. You get $40 off and you get to order it early. And then you also get to spend an extra $24 on whatever you want. So it's like you're getting $66 for free plus free postage. So actually let's make that about $77 of value. And then you can get the new machine earlier Plus, you get to be part of our Crazy Crafters team, which is so awesome. We want you part of our team. Today, we did a craft class with one of the girls, and it's a special craft class that only our team members get to attend, which we love. We do that once a month, and they are so much fun. We, we do lots of great creativity, and we learn new things, new techniques. We support each other creatively, creative, can't even say that word, creatively. <laughs> I was going to say creativity. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of fun and we'd love to have you part of our team. So you not only get the new die cutting machine cheaper, but you also get to be part of our cool team. And I tell you what, there's lots of creative, inspiring people on that team. And then if you wanted to build a business, you could. But if you don't, we have a lot who have joined just for the discounted starter kit. And many have also, um, yeah, just joined to get the discount on top of that. <gasps> Look at that. I love it. I'm going to make them less sort of rounded and more like that. Ah, oh, so cool. Look how easy that was to put together. That's already a card done. And if I received this, I tell you what, it would totally brighten my day, especially with one of these beautiful envelopes that go with it. So there's that one. Now let's see what else we've got here. So I want to do this pineapple one next because I love this card base. I just think it's so hot right now. Look at that. <gasps> you had me at gold stripes, gold foil stripes. And all we need is strip. We need this one here. So I think I might actually, even though in the photo, it looks like it goes over the top of the pineapple. I'm actually going to do um, the in between because so I like I want that pineapple to be on show so I'm going to do that as the base and what I'll do is I'll pull out the pineapple so I can gauge where it's going to go in relation to this strip so I want it towards the bottom of the page there so yeah I'm probably going to do it in between those two pieces there so see how it just helped me to see exactly where I wanted it to go. Good. And then I'm going to raise that up. Oops. It's all good. Crisis averted. We'll move you over there for now. So we don't want too many up here because I'm going to play with those little spiky bits and just tease them a bit. Not tease them as in bully them. No bullying allowed. Just tease them like 80s hair. <laughs> Did any of you here do teasing on your hair to have a bouffant or to have the, you know, Whitney Houston look? Like I want to dance with somebody. I'm pretty sure she teased her hair a lot in that film clip. 
and then we're going to put that about there. And what I mean by, and what you can do, you can even come in with your, your bone folder and sort of use that to create those little edges. And I really like doing this. I think it just adds, I don't know, a bit of texture, a bit of extra element. And it just makes it feel more 3D. It's a tiny little technique, but it does make a big difference. I'm just going to move that over a little bit and maybe give this screen a bit of a clean <laughs> because it looks a little bit blurry. Close your eyes. <laughs> Closing eyes. Is that better? <gasps> yeah, that does look a bit better. And I'll just come in a bit more. There you go. I just felt like it wasn't clear enough for my eyes. So we'll bring those off into the little bin that I've got here. Now I want to use the You Are Loved stamp set on this one. So that's that one there. Now remember you can use the same block actually. I'll just clean that off. But you've also got Sending Sunshine, you've got Hello. Like you don't have to use what they've recommended, remember. But if you're just thinking, ah, oh, I don't really want to have to think about anything. I just want to enjoy some crafting and not make any decisions. Then this is the best thing to do. You can just be told what to do next. Um, so what we can do is, and if you wanted to, I'll show you another little trick here. So I'm going to pull out one of those. And what you could do is just have a little, in fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm just going to test it out and just see what it looks like. But I'm going to say, hello. I'm not going to put you are loved. Just for, you know, randomness. Just because I can. And then what I'll do is put it at towards the end. Like so. And then that's going to stick in there. So I can do it so that it doesn't, um, the other side doesn't come out. But I'm layering this so that it shows the little polka dots too. I really like that. I think it's fun. And what you can do so that you don't have to even pull it back out again, you can just grab a little bit of glue and just sit that down or even your, your little adhesive pieces there. And that is set to go. Just put a little bit of, um, of the sequins, adhesive sequins. How many do they have? Like a three? I'll just do some in the corner here and one down there. And there we have it. Another amazing card. Thanks, Stampa. These are actually really, really good fun. And you're going to enjoy sending that to someone. You'll probably even have some spare pieces that you can use on the inside if you want to as well. Okay, so now we've got this, we've got two more left. We've got this one here, which is a sunshine one. And actually they're both sunshine. So what's the other card base? Oh, here it is. So we've got this one here. And again, a nice, simple layering and then this one here so this one we have a little bit of stamping to do so what we'll do is we'll just line up where we want that stamping to start with so all we're going to add is the sunshine stamp a cute 
cute stamp set. Oh, this one's actually um, Sending Sunshine. Let's do that one. I'll stamp that for now and then I can use that on something else. But I want to do the Share Sunshine so that you can see that one. Oh, that's lined up a bit better. Oh, well, in case the other one doesn't work, we've got that one there. <laughs> in case the other one doesn't line up, we're set. <laughs> uh, so I'll grab another one of these. And I want to use the... So we've got here Sending Sunshine. So there's two ways that you can do this. I sometimes find that, um, we'll just have a look anyway, engage it. But I find that sometimes putting them together, you can't get as close. Yeah, you can't get as close. So it's actually better off um, doing them separate because then you can actually get quite close and you can see exactly where you're stamping. So that's our sending. So it kind of tells you where to line it up because you've got your little S is in the middle and the sunshine only fits, like the S only fits in a particular spot anyway. So we've got that. Beautiful. And then we just want the little sending. So I've got a little tiny bit here. Yes, I do. They're really great fonts. I'm loving these. So see how you can get quite close to the font. But if we did that on the block, we wouldn't get as close as this. So, yeah, I prefer that. Really cool. So we'll put that here. Now, all we need to do on this one is we've got another little bit of stamping to do with this little layer. But underneath here, we're going to put one of the dotties and then we're going to have this little accent of pattern. So I'll do the pattern. And also, actually, we need a little sun too. So I'm going to line this little sentiment up. And this is going to help me to determine where I want to place these patterns. So as you can see, that's told me, okay, that's where I want the pattern there. Then I've got my sun. So with this sun, because it does have the middle taken out, what's good to do is lay it down flat, then come in with your block, and then you know you've picked it up. But it's not going to be a bad thing if it's sort of a bit skew if. Gives you a bit of artistic flair. So we know that we want it up in that corner there. So we're just going to keep that there. There we go. And then because I know exactly where I've placed that, now I can come in with the other elements. It's a bit of eyeballing, but it works. And remember, it's if it's not spot on, it's not a drama. So I'm just going to do that there and then add my dimensionals and put the sentiment on and then we've got a few of the sequins to use as well. It's good that Stampin' Up! have given us lots of dimensionals. Thanks Stampin' Up! They know that we love dimensionals in these in this house. We have sheets and sheets of dimensionals. Yes, they're all off. And we can come in like so. Bring it up a little bit more. 
Yay. And then I'll add the dimensional or the adhesive back to sequins. There and I'll put three and I'll do two up here. Yes, that's such a cool card. Look how easy it came together. So we've got one left to do. So we've done this one, this one and this one and you can see it's like the great they're really good kits because there's enough on here that we feel like we've accomplished a fair bit but not too much that we're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out because we want our crafting to be fun and exciting and not yeah we don't want to be intimidated at all so the first thing I'm going to add to this element is the background because we know we're going to add a sun to this. So have I got, oh yes, because I've got all the adhesive suns as well, but we're not actually using the adhesive one. You can, but we're using one from the, um, oh there it is there, fell on the floor. Fell on the floor, everyone. I can get it. Uh, stay there. <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> Bruno and I love saying that when we're like, oh, do you know what this is? It's like, oh, no, stay there. Stay, stay there. <laughs> like, oh, I was. <laughs> I wasn't moving. <laughs> and we'll do. We can do a little picky boo of hello there if we want to. Or you could do the whole... You are loved if you wanted to, but we'll just do a little hello, I think. There we go. I don't think the smile, no, the smile doesn't fit onto these little banners. It only fits on the bigger ones. There we go. look really good there so I'll stick that down first beautiful then we'll do our dimensionals on here do you see me I'm like where did the dimensionals go <laughs> where have they gone <laughs> they went walkabouts one more just because I can just because we've got rows and rows of dimensionals <laughs> I love being a rebel I'm using more than most people there we go yay and again with our little sun we can play with this a bit have a bit of fun with the folding and I think it just looks really awesome when you do this with your look at that just I don't know it just changes it when you play around with it a bit don't be afraid like just yeah give it a fold and you can always fold it in a different direction if you don't like it but I really love that I think that just gives it such depth and then we're going to add some of the sequins I can't believe what a cool kit this is. I am suitably impressed. I approve Stampin' Up. <laughs> you can sell these. I approve. <laughs> ah, they're already selling it. <laughs> they didn't need my approval after all. Ah, oh, that looks so amazing. And how simple and easy was that? That's all four cards. So you've got another, how many do we have? Yeah, so you get two of each. So we've got another set of four. So 
we've got all the card bases for those so that you'll end up with eight. And look how much we still have left. We've got plenty of those stickers left. We only used one sheet. We've still got these stickers left so they could go on the front of your um, box or on a card. You could even decide to make a frame. And then we've still got all of these too. And I know for a fact that we did four cards and we only used one sheet. So we still have these three sheets left, which is really awesome. So I can see myself making some frames um, and having a really good time with all these extra bits and pieces that we have here. Um, I may not be able to use these background pieces, but I sure know how to get my hands on them because I could create my own backgrounds if I wanted to, which is really cool. So I'm very impressed with this kit. Stampin' Up! has done an amazing job. Let's get all of our cards here so that you can see them all lined up. And we'll pop our little sentiments all back where they should go. But you can see these sentiments are fantastic. You're going to be able to use them time and time again after this kit is well and truly over um, yeah it's got a lot of value in them so I've got a brand new a brand new one and yes I'm using it I know a lot of, a lot of you are like eh, I don't like using my chamois it freaks me out but it's no don't be afraid just use your chamois because it's the best thing ever it's the best cleaner Hello. We're looking very neat and tidy around here. It's a first. <laughs> Don't get used to it, everyone. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to do this after every video. <laughs> so I can't believe we made four cards and it's only just over 35 minutes. That is amazing. I am so impressed with this card kit and I know that you will too. So think of some friends, maybe some family. Um, I think that this is a set and you could tell me otherwise, but I think about my teenage niece and I even think about my coming up to teenager niece. She'd be 10 or 11 now. And I think that even both of them would actually really enjoy this kit. It's It sort of transcends age groups, really. And even if it was a young boy that was doing this, like I think of our nephew, I think even he would enjoy this. I don't think it has like a masculine nor feminine feel to it. So... It could be a really great kit for the entire family to get involved in, especially if they had people in mind who they wanted to send the cards to. It could be a project that the family get involved in. Um, we know that um, for us, doing random act of kindness has been a really nice way to connect with our friends and family. And even just this week, we've received some gifts from friends, um, homemade chocolates that I've already eaten two of. <laughs> um, some champagne and some beautiful things and it just I don't know it connects you more than we've ever been connected before with some of our friends because we're having to think outside the box and think of different ways that we can show love to our friends and family that we can't see like normal so I know that you're going to absolutely love making this kit I'll just lift this up so that you can see it a little bit closer Check it out, and um, if you live in Australia, you'll be able to get this kit to make eight cards, so two of each of these cards. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So if you have any questions at all, please let us know. Uh, if you're looking for a demonstrator in Australia, um, maybe you don't have the current catalogs, or you're looking for someone to purchase through, 
we're more than happy to help you. Um, please keep in mind the joining special. It's always amazing. I know people ask, is there a special coming? It's always special. You always get a great discount. And the fact that you get 20% off all of your purchases is just such a win-win. At the moment, you're still able to register for this special Stampin' Up! only online event that will give you access to brand new products early. Instead of waiting for January to come around, we'll be ordering brand new products in November. And we will get our hands on brand new products way ahead of everyone else. It's called the PPP, the Product Purchase Premiere. And on top of that, we will have um, amazing classes and virtual techniques all done online uh, so you can be part of that plus exclusive products that you can purchase as well if you wanted to get some swag some special merchandise products it's all only if you join so joining stamping up is just the best best way that you can get some really cool opportunities and you can get discounts on all your products. So we always recommend the joining offer because we know what we do for our team. So we want our customers to enjoy what our team members have. <laughs> Please join. <laughs> we want you to come and join all the fun. <laughs> so thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your support. Please share if there's someone that you think will enjoy seeing this kit in action and just see how easy it is put, to put together. Uh, for those of you that are maybe sending it to friends and family, you can send them this video and show them how to put it together. Sometimes I'm a visual person, so sometimes seeing someone put it together, it's like, ah, oh, is that what you do there? Okay, cool. That's easier. Um, so yeah, if it helps someone else, we'll be really happy that that's um, assisted them. So all the best with your crafting, everyone. Have an awesome week. Remember to keep sharing the love and sending your cards to everyone that you can and keep being amazing and we'll speak to you soon bye everyone thanks for being here